With that being stated, we're back here on Wake Up Call with Dan Satora with the Ingredients to Success, proudly brought to you by Avicoli's on the corner of Route 57 and Wetzel Road in Liverpool, New York. And I am honored and privileged to be able to always bring this to you. Uh, I do want to, uh, we got a message from Delrena here that said, thanks, great interview, Duds. He is very kind and caring, a young man, and he is a very teachable player. So, awesome, good stuff. Duds, I'm not surprised at all that I'm getting all these positive messages about you. I expect nothing less. Expect nothing less, especially somebody who has been taught by Fred Kent, the head coach at West Genesee, who's a tremendously awesome person and head coach. So, very much and friend of mine. So I very much appreciate that too. Just want to make note of that. With with that being stated, it's time to get in to the ingredients to success. Proudly brought to you by Avicoli's. Like I said, on the corner of Route 57 and Wetzel Road in Liverpool, New York, you can get in touch with Avicoli's. They are open Monday through Thursday from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. on the pizza side, as well as the dining room and the bar are all open uh, Monday through Thursday from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. On Friday and Saturday, they're open from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. And on Sundays, they're open from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Of course, you can also order by calling 315-622-5100. And you can do that for catering as well as for takeout and curbside pickup and delivery. All of that's on the same number, 315-622-5100 for curbside pickup, takeout, delivery, and catering. And you can also go to myavicoli's. Dot com. That's my A V I C O L L I S dot com and use the promo code AVS10 to get 10% off your orders online. So make sure that you take advantage of that. Every little bit helps, and the 10% off promo code is available for you today. So make sure that you utilize that. With all of that being said here, the topic for today is mental health. You know, we just had uh, this week that, uh, you know, mental health came up here. Uh, for mental health awareness and whatnot. And it's really important that we take the time to take the time when it comes to our mental health, right? You know, and I think uh, growing up, you know, th- there were words that were said and, and derogatory comments and whatnot about mental health as well as the fact that, you know, oh, if if you if you needed help, right? If you If you needed help with your mental health, then you were weak. There was something wrong with you. You weren't strong enough. And that's simply just not true. You know, I think that we could all advance from having some mental health uh, aid, and I don't think it makes anybody weak when they need a little bit more help. I think that it does go a a long way, and I don't think any of us is perfect. I think that we all go through tough times, and we all go through tough moments, and we need help. So it's okay to ask for help. That's something that I've learned. It's okay to ask for it. It's okay to get it. It's okay to give help. So my topic today would be mental health for for this uh for this and i do want to give a shout out to my mama uh thank you and good morning to you mama so and uh thank you for your positive words about a great interview shout out to my guy tyler cook who's watching right now what's up tyler i haven't talked to tyler cook in a minute so it's been a little bit brother i hope you're doing well hope you're staying safe god bless to you and your family and i hope i get to talk to you and hopefully see you soon so my best to you and uh prayers always so uh, with all that being stated here, like I said, uh, getting to the ingredients to success on mental health, it's extremely important to have positive mental health and, and a positive mindset of who you are, right? It's extremely, extremely important. So what are the ingredients to success for this? Well, you got to shut out the outside noise. I know it's hard to do, but you have to shut out the outside noise. And, you know, it, it's it's really, really vital that you do that because... People are going to say good things about you. People are going to say not so good things about you. It's going to go up and down and around the corner. Some people are going to say something great about you today, something horrible tomorrow. Ask Tommy DeVito. Ask Eric Dungy. Ask Donovan McNabb, for goodness sakes. People say really great things about you on Monday, and they send you a death threat on a Tuesday. They want to kill you on Wednesday. They want to hug you on a Thursday. They want to kiss you on the mouth on Friday, they want to push you off a cliff on Saturday. That's the life of the entertainment world that I live in. So I can tell you that mental health is important. No matter what you do in your life, it's important. It's a vital, vital piece of you. So how do we have positive mental health? You shut out the outside noise, that first point that I made. You shut it out. You have to. 
How do you do it, Dan? How do I shut out the outside noise? How do I get away from bullying? You got to block it out. You got to start muffling it, you know, womp, 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 womp. Because, you know, somebody might say to me, well, Dan, I'm getting bullied in school. How do I shut that down? I'm getting bullied in my house. How do I shut that down? You know, I'm getting, I'm getting bullied by somebody that, like, I have to see every day. How do I shut it down? Well, you're not going to be able to change them more often than not. So you have to learn to adjust yourself. And you're going to have to learn how to live with the fact that not everybody is going to agree with you and not everybody is going to be nice to you. So you really just have to speak positive words into your head. When people say things to you on social media, when they say things to you to your face, when they say things behind your back, and somebody comes up and tells you that, the best thing I can tell you to do in dealing with that is you have to always have a more positive voice inside your brain than the voices that are trying to get inside your brain. Your voice that you have inside of you has to be louder than the negative voices that are trying to get in. It is your job to keep them out. It is not easy, but you have to work at it. You have to breathe. It's called purposeful breathing. You have to take a deep breath in, hold it, let it out, understand what your problem is, understand what's hurting you, stressing you out, take a deep, right, and then speak positive words of encouragement to yourself. I'm going to be okay. I got this. This is an old feeling. This is an old thought. This is something I used to let bother me. I'm not going to let this bother me anymore. Their opinion doesn't matter to me. You have to say those things to yourself. You do. It might sound stupid, but you have to. You have to. Right? It's amazing that if you took a deep breath in the middle of a fight, if you took a deep breath in the middle of you stressing out, if you took a deep breath in the middle of a headache, if you took a deep breath at a, foul, at a, at a free throw line, if you took a deep breath in the huddle, it's amazing how you gain perspective from taking one deep breath. And it's amazing how much you can calm yourself down by one single breath. The next time that you get stressed out and you start, you know, just like going off, do me a favor and in the middle of all of that, just take... And I would venture to believe more often than not that that is going to, that's going to calm you down. It's going to at least create a pause in your life, a pause in your stress, a pause in your heartbeat going 60-40, a pause in your temples just bumping, a pause in whatever. You have to take a break. Positive mental health is aided by the voice inside of you being positive and being louder and stronger than any voice trying to get in that's negative. First and foremost, not listening to voices of people that don't matter. And I don't mean that they don't matter in the grand scheme of life, and I don't mean that like God created people that don't matter. I mean that they don't matter in your life. Right? The people whose opinions you should entertain only are people that want to see you succeed, that open doors for you, they don't slam them in your face, people that talk to you and not at you, people that try to build you up, that challenge you in a good way, that only want to see you be better, that aren't yes men. But if you have somebody in your life, it could be your dad, it could be your mom. Could be your brother and sister. Could be your grandparents. Could be one of you, who you think is your best friend. It could be your wife or your husband or your fiance, or your boyfriend or girlfriend or partner. You know, it could be somebody that's supposed to be there for you that's not. Just because someone's your girlfriend doesn't mean you have to listen to them. Just because somebody's your wife doesn't mean you have to listen to them. Just because somebody's your dad doesn't mean you have to listen to them. Just because somebody's your brother doesn't mean you have to listen to them. Sometimes the worst people in our lives are the people that are supposed to be the best. So, 
you have to really take everybody's accolades away, right? I'm your dad, I'm your mom, I'm your girlfriend, I'm your boy. Take all that away and just say, how do they treat me? What do they say to me? What do they do to me? How do they enrich my life? How do they make me better? Is my dad's love on me benefiting me? Is it tough love that's pushing me forward? Or is it hateful? Is it showing that there's something broken inside of him and that he's trying to break me because people that are broken just know how to break things? You have to really ask yourself those questions. When it comes to your mental health, you don't need to be around people that bring you down. And that includes your family and includes your friends. When people are negative, they are negative. And no matter what you do, sometimes you, 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 there, you, I mean, you can't change somebody else. You just can't. There's no way around it. So you need to surround yourself with good people. You need to understand that just because somebody is in your life doesn't mean that they've earned the right to be there. Because sometimes the friend that we had our whole lives that we can't imagine getting rid of because they've been there forever isn't healthy for us. Sometimes the person that we're dating, that we've gotten so used to dating them, and we don't want to go out into the world and be single, and we don't want to be alone, and it takes too much work to find somebody, that we are willing to accept mediocrity, accept really bad behavior, accept toxicity. Maybe we try over and over and over and over again with a parent that just doesn't treat us right. Just honestly doesn't make us feel good about ourselves ever. So your mental health is incredibly important. You are the company you keep. You have to breathe. You have to learn from your mistakes. You have to have knowledge and wisdom. You have to catch yourself when you start acting like a villain. If you ever feel like you're going to hurt yourself, there are numbers to call, there are people to call, there are places to go, there are therapists to talk to. Please don't ever take your life or somebody else's. Please don't ever wish that you disappear or want to die. Don't beg God to kill you. Don't. Please don't ever do anything that would hurt you. I have been in the lowest of the lows. I know what it looks like. I know what it feels like. So I can tell you it's not worth going there. There's nothing that's worth it. You will get through it. You can get through it. You are getting through it. I know that some people don't have a faith, but I don't know how you do it without it. So I think good mental health comes with faith, too. I think it's a big help. I think it's a big assist. I think it's a big safety net. So, you know, you are the company you keep. Your voice has to be stronger than everybody else is trying to get in you. You've got to be positive. you got to be critical of yourself, but also compassionate to yourself. You have to learn from your mistakes. And you got to love yourself up. you got to love yourself up, and you have to really understand that it, life is not that serious. I know there's things that happen like cancer and corona and all this stuff, but you cannot take your life that seriously. You have to learn to laugh every day. And the stuff that's in the pit of your stomach, you have to let it out. Give it up to God. Hey, God, I'm not going to stomach my stress anymore. Positive mental health comes from consistent, systematic, habitual, positive behavior. There are positive habits and negative habits, and it takes the same amount of time to bring one in that's good, or bring one in that's bad. Make the choice. If you've been negative for longer than you can remember, it doesn't matter. You can create a positive world. But you have to be dedicated to it, and you have to push yourself for it. And I'm going to tell you something that I know that some people don't want to hear. There is nobody in the world that's going to take you out of a hole. You have to do it. People will help you. They will throw you nets. They will throw you ropes. They will bring helicopters. They will do everything that they possibly can. But you have to want to get out of the hole. So at the end of the day, 
It starts with you. It ends with you. Your mental health is your own. You are the keeper of it. You hold the key. You hold the lock. You hold your future. You hold your present. You hold your past. I trust you. I believe in you. You can cure yourself. You can heal. You can get better. And you can smile every day. Believe it. It's true. No matter how hard it is. If you take anything from today, I love you. I support you taking care of yourself. I want you to be positive, and I know you can do it. Have a fantastic day, and love yourself. Love yourself. Don't focus on the people that don't love you. Don't focus on the things that you lost. Focus on what you have, because I guarantee it's a lot more than you think. And you can try in relationships, and you can try and try. But if somebody is just not good to you, I completely and totally support you. Minimizing your time and staying away from bad energy. It is one of the hardest things to do to take people that are your blood and your family out of your life. But if it has to do with you not hurting yourself, you staying healthy, and you staying well, there is no other choice. Because you living an unhealthy life is unacceptable. And if somebody is facilitating that purposely or by accident, tell them if they don't stop, you have to move forward without them. There's not a single person on this planet that deserves to be put down. If God woke you up today, it wasn't to be abused. So please love yourself. Please love yourself. I want to thank my awesome guest today, Nate Trout, as well as Adam Dudzinski. I want to thank Avicolis for the ingredients to success on the corner of Route 57 and Wetzel Road in Liverpool, New York. Find them uh, Monday through Thursday, open 4 to 9 p.m. on all sides. They have a pizza side, kind of a casual. They have a dining side, kind of more intimate, fine dining. And they have a bar. You can find all of that Monday through Thursday from 4 to 9, Friday and Saturday, 10, uh, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Sundays from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. They're available for catering, takeout, curbside pickup, and delivery by calling 315-622-5100 or going to myavacolis.com. If you order from myavacolis.com, use the promo code AVS10. That's AVS10 for 10% off all orders that are there. I want to thank you. And for everything that you do, Avicolis, you are second to none. I truly, truly very much appreciate the family atmosphere that you create. And I'm thankful for Jared and the entire team over there who are just awesome. Tune in live to Wake Up Call with Dan Store every Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Watching on Facebook.com backslash live now DT and listening on MixLR.com backslash Wake Up Call DT. You can search Wake Up Call with Dan Tatora's audio archives. On Stitcher, Podbean, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Spotify, MixLR, YouTube, iTunes, or Apple Podcasts, as well as other avenues like Player FM and so on and so forth. And I do want to thank all of our proud partners in Central and Upstate New York that I ask you to support now more than ever. Cafe Kubal, Carvel DeWitt, Wildcat Sports Pub, Canine Camp Dog Day Care for short-term care for your dog, and Canine Campground Dog Boarding. They're also there for toothbrushes and toothpaste for your dog, harnesses, shirts, and so much more, as well as dog food and grooming. Make sure that you get in touch with Canine Camp Dog Day Care and Canine Campground Dog Boarding of East Syracuse. The best place is to bring your furry-loving friends who, if you treat them like I do, you treat them like your kids, and they're your family. Avicolis, as I said, AVS10 on myavicolis.com. Chick-fil-A Cicero, I don't have to tell you, they're fantastically awesome, and I need to get myself out there because I can't stop thinking about this spicy chicken deluxe. Honda City of Liverpool, Ma and pa, uh, at monpawspopcorn.com. Promo code DT20 will get you 20% off for in-store pickup or to have it delivered to you. You can get 20% off either way by going to monpawspopcorn.com. Whether you're picking it up on 201 Old 7th North Street in Liverpool or you're having it shipped to you, going to monpawspopcorn.com will get you 20% off by using the exclusive wake-up call code DT20. That's DT20. Trapper's Pizza Pub, as well as the Millhouse Market, which is worth the drive every time. And, of course, our beverage eye of choice, Coca-Cola, Body Armor, Rain, and Monster Energy. Have a fantastic day. 
I'm on my way to Cafe Kubal to fill that cup. There it is. To fill that cup with my pumpkin spice chai. The DT Special Pumpkin Spice Chai is available at all five locations, as well as for mobile order and pickup. So make sure you do that. Cafe Kubal, coffee for the soul. Take care. Have a great day. Find us on Facebook at Wake Up Call DT, Twitter at Call DT, and Instagram at Wake Up Call underscore DT, Wake Up Call DT dot com, as well as YouTube dot com backslash Wake Up Call DT. I'll talk with you all very soon. God bless. No stress. Do your best. Be good.